For today's quiz, we're talking about wire. This is a very heavy, thick piece of wire, but in general, wire is wire. We normally have copper or aluminum or something like that, and it's coated in some type of insulator. Here, this is a really thick you know, vinyl or rubber, and it's bendable and so on. Uh, our question today is, what happens if I put too much current through this wire? Here's what that quiz looks like today. Hold that up. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible. Enlist your confidence. Typical student responses include wire and water analogies, and it's a really good one. So good thinking there. They think instead of electrons going through a wire, I have water going through a pipe. And they'll simply say, look, you can keep putting as much water through this pipe till it can't have any more, but nothing happens. So that's the first response. The second response is they say, well, wire gets hot where the water pipe doesn't, but that's about as far as they go. So that's the two typical responses that we get. All right, let's go ahead and explain this. Look, inside the copper, we're gonna end up having an electric field established and electrons are gonna end up moving through the wire. But as those electrons bump into other atoms or other electrons, they tend to take some of that kinetic energy that they've built up and they dissipate that as heat. And uh, the faster these electrons and the more that I have and the quicker and harder they're hitting, the more heat that I can generate. So heat becomes a serious problem. See, we don't normally think of having heat as a problem with water going through a pipe. Most of us are not like, oh, there's so much water going through that pipe, it's getting hot. But with electricity, it becomes a serious problem. So what happens when we overcurrent a wire? Well, we generate heat, a lot of heat. And uh, maybe we can show you a pretty dramatic de demonstration of what happens with that. To help us demonstrate what happens when we overcurrent a wire, I'm gonna use a different kind of wire. Uh, I have graphite in a pencil here, and the insulator around it is simply wood. What I'll do is I'll chop off this end, and I'll sharpen both ends, and then I'll put it between two electrical leads here, and we'll pump way too much current through this, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I damaged the first pencil, trying to sharpen it on both ends, but I got a new one. I now have it connected between two leads of our power box here, and uh, I'm gonna plug it in. You'll probably start hearing a buzzing sound as it delivers lots and lots of current. Maybe I'll move the camera closer so we can see what's happening. All right, right away we can start to see some smoke coming off on both ends. And this is what happens when you uh, over current a wire. I might have to turn on this vent so I don't <laughs> have the smoke alarm go off. So I'm going to turn this on. But you can see very quickly that that's going to get very, very hot. And it appears to be turning red hot. And pretty dramatically, it's able to take all the paint off of that uh, wood, which is simulating our wire. And it's going to get to the point where it can become a real hazard. Oh, okay, that, that caught on fire down here. So I have a little fire that I need to put out. All right. All right, that was pretty dramatic. Uh, you can see what's left of our, quote, wire from the pencil. And down below was the flaming insulation. So um, it's really important that you never overcurrent a wire because uh, all of that current is going to create huge amounts of heat, and that heat can end up causing a fire. So in your house, don't ever demand too much current going through the wires because that situation can happen inside of our walls and you can burn down your house. All right, that's our quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. 
while at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.